Hello, you guys. Happy Friday. I can't even see if this is like good or not. Some of you might be wondering, Kiara, why are you wearing sunglasses inside? The answer is that I just went to the eye doctor and got my eyes dilated. So everything is very bright right now on my ginormous pupils. Let's see if you can even see them. It is literally so bright. Oh, they're going down. I think. Anyway, it's very bright. Just a little lesson to my fellow 20 somethings out there who don't like to go to the doctor, if you're like me. When I started working at the hospital that I'm working at now, I actually got access to more of my records on my chart. Like for some reason, I feel like they just like combined naturally. So I started reading my notes and after visit summaries, like the little nerd I am. I saw that I was being screened when I was a little girl for having really high eye pressures and cupping of the optic disc. And so I was like, oh, interesting, like reading through the notes and the most recent one was like 2011 and it said like recheck your optic nerve in five years well it's been 12 so maybe we should like go and establish care somewhere because i'm an adult and so i need a new doctor one of the most glamorous exciting parts about being an adult is finding doctors in a society where you can't find anyone no one's accepting new patients if you're like me and you're really picky and like to stalk these doctors it's hard to like find good ones but anyway i found a really good one i got lucky i made this appointment back in literally March or April and the soonest they could get me in was today. I went to the doctor thinking like nothing was gonna happen and they'd be like oh you're totally fine why are you here because I know I can see really well like I have really good vision. You would think there's no reason to go to the eye doctor except for this like pressure thing. We go and we find out that I still do have a high eye pressure and then she was like I don't think you're gonna have to get like any imaging where they do like a, a CT of your eye is how they explained it to me but I don't know any Anything about eye stuff, it is not my like topic of interest at all. So even though I'm a nurse, I feel like I'm just in this foreign eye world. But then when she like went out and talked to the doctor, she's like, just kidding, they want to do imaging. And so went in, did the imaging thing where they shine like this bright little plus and you have to follow your eye and they get like a picture of your optic nerve, which is honestly so cool how they do this. I don't understand it, but it's fascinating. And he was like showing me the images on the screen. Like I know what that even means. I knew nothing. The cupping is worse on my left side than it is on my right. And then I also have some sort of like scar in my eye on my right side. I don't know, it was very fascinating. And he was like, basically you need to come back in a couple months so that we can recheck your eye pressure. And then he's gonna do this test. A Scopy. I'm probably saying this wrong. Put like a little lens. It's a mirror and it shows you the drainage angle to see how well my aqueous humor is draining. If it's not draining very well is a really high risk factor for glaucoma. Glaucoma can cause blindness because your optic nerve, which is transmitting the signal of what you can see in front of you to your brain is being damaged because the pressure is so high in your eyes. So you don't want to have like chronically high eye pressure because it causes damage to your optic nerve is my basic understanding of it. So I have to go back in three months to see what's up. More tests, more data, which is fine. But anyway, let this story be a lesson to you that if you've been putting off going to the doctor, setting up an appointment, a follow-up, you should just go. I got myself a matcha because you always have to reward yourself for going to the doctor. I feel like I didn't start this video, but I'm going to be filming a weekend in my life as a nurse. A weekend off in my life. I feel like I have kind of a busy fun-ish weekend, so I'm excited to bring you along. We started this morning bright and early with my doctor's appointment. I feel like I'm definitely gonna need a nap today. I got off work yesterday morning, slept for three and a half hours, did a five mile hike, and then went out and hung out with my parents, and I'm just like drained. It was lightning and thundering last night, and it was so loud that I just didn't sleep well at all. We're gonna see how long I last and how effective this matcha is in waking me up. I also got a bagel because I was like, that is necessary. Hey, what's the price you'll pay for you to be famous? It's not a lot these days, so She signs her life away, her signature's painless And now the suits have got her hooked But she's definitely in it for all of the wrong reasons Doesn't even matter if no one can believe it. It's all an elaborate scheme to make some money for the team it's been a couple hours since I talked to you guys and that's because I needed to take a nap, like an hour and a half nap. I think I'm just like catching up on sleep and that is 
The really hard part about being on night shift is you think like, oh, it'd just be super, super hard the day you get off. But sometimes for me, it like hits me a day later. And I feel like today's one of those days and the fact that I didn't sleep well last night, you know, it's a whole like sleep debt thing. We took a nap, we checked our emails, we replied to some lovely comments. Thank you guys for commenting on my videos. It makes me so happy. I've just spent the past like little chunk of time tidying up the apartment because I want it to be clean. And I feel like on weekends like this, when I'm super busy bouncing around everywhere, it can get crazy really fast. So I try to keep it as clean as possible. And then I realized I was hungry and I didn't have lunch besides my bagel. Okay, I'm gonna just pop in Trader Joe's chicken tikka masala, consume that so I can have some substance in my body. I forgot to tell you guys what we're doing tonight. It's very exciting. We're going to Sam Smith with my friend Maddie and her cousin Phoebe. I'm really excited. It's almost 4.30. They're gonna pick me up at 5.30. So and then we're gonna go out to food. I should probably like see what's in my closet to see what the inspo is and then I'll just like slowly start getting ready. I was gonna wear like this dress because I was supposed to go to Noah Khan. I was so excited for him, Bend, and he canceled his concert in Bend. If any of you guys are gonna go to that and were equally as disappointed as I was, um, RIP. But I don't know if the dress is like the same vibe. Okay, this is my other dress. It's a Reformation dress. It's pretty cute. I honestly might just end up wearing this cause it's like lightweight, fun. So I have that or I have, this is where I keep all my swimsuits. But I thought I'd put in a little black jean skirt from recruitment, sorority recruitment, got my black jean skirt. So that's also an option with like a fun little crop top thing. We're gonna do a little fashion show. First, let's eat. I'm literally, I think I'm starving. I should have had food sooner, but this is like my emergency meal. It just always hits, honestly. Can you tell I'm borderline hangry? I'm gonna eat this. <laughs> I decided to go with the dress because it's really hot outside and it sounded nice and then I'm wearing these little maroon booties I did my hair in like a cute little braid. We're ready for the concert I'm waiting for Maddie to text me that she's on the way to pick me up and I'm so excited I have been a Sam Smith lover for literally forever. Sam Smith is on my list of like top 10 people I needed to see in my lifetime I'm gonna get some clips of the concert obviously I'm gonna bring you guys along. We're gonna go out to Thai food first at this really amazing place called Farmhouse Thai. It's in the Pearl and I've been there before. It's super pretty inside for Drumbecker Children's Hospital and see Portugal the Man. Lovely. So it should be a good time. We're um. excited. Jobs, my words look like this is my job, and this is Maddie's job. <laughs> meeting, what's this? Oh, a meeting is Take the key, 10 30. We're at Teenies right now. We're gonna get a little teeny teeny cocktail. Hello 
Hello you guys, happy Sunday. I feel like I haven't talked to you guys forever because I didn't really talk to you guys yesterday. If you didn't see what we were up to yesterday, we went to the mountain with some of my friends and it was just a wonderful when worlds collide moment. There was a Portugal The Main concert, but it was a fundraiser for the hospital that I actually work at. It was at the mountain, my literal favorite place ever. So the past couple nights, I've been having a lot of trouble falling asleep and it's just been really hard for me. Even if I do get to sleep by like 1.30, I've just been waking up throughout the night. So it's been really inconsistent. Last night was no different. I didn't fall asleep until like maybe 1.45 and I kind of was tossing and turning. And then all of a sudden I woke up and it was noon and I was like, oh my God, half of my day is gone. This has never happened to me before because usually I have a lot of alarms. So I never like sleep past the last one for whatever reason I did. Also don't mind me. I'm going to start getting ready because I'll tell you what we're up to tonight. It's like 4.30 now. I've been spending this afternoon tidying up a little bit because tonight I'm hanging out with my friends. We're doing a fun activity. We're going to an art show. I I forget the name of it, but it's like a light show here in Portland. And we're going out to one of my favorite restaurants right beforehand. So I am in charge of trying to secure a spot at the restaurant because it's really popular and they ran out of reservations. But I need to get all ready first because it's kind of like a fun artsy show and I'm just in the mood to dress up. I had a little bit of a slow start to my Sunday. So now we have to spice up the excitement and I'm looking forward to dressing up because you know, the thing about being a nurse is it's really nice to wake up and just wear scrubs and not have to think about your outfits all the time. But then at the same time, I'm like, it's nice to dress up. Go have fun and be a part of society. I am going to get ready and I'm super excited to dress up tonight because I have some new jewelry from the Lore by New York partnered with Orate, this wonderful woman founded company that sells fine jewelry that's fairly priced. They have a ton of amazing options and I cannot wait to show you guys the pieces from the collection. Here's a sneak peek because I'm wearing this necklace. I've been wearing it nonstop. I'm gonna finish doing my makeup, curl my hair really quick and then I'm gonna show you guys the pieces and we're gonna pick out what I wanna wear with my outfit. This is why it's so fun to get all dressed up because I love doing things like this. We are all ready. I finally picked out this outfit. I wanted to wear a lot of white cream because I think it'll look cool with the lights and everything. And I'm bringing a jacket because it's a little bit cold. Boots, jacket, cream pants, white shirt. I'm also wearing my favorite necklace in the new collection Lore by Orate. Hillsburg Diamonds teamed up with my favorite jewelry brand Orate New York to launch a beautiful new collection exclusively at Hillsburg Diamonds. It's got this conjoining circles, a silver and a gold one. It's just absolutely beautiful. I feel like it goes with everything and it's just a perfect everyday necklace. Whatever jewelry I put on, I like to keep on, especially my earrings and things, which is why I love this collection because it's amazing quality. And I think it's really special to treat yourself for something that you're gonna have for a really long time. So let me show you the other pieces that I got that are in the collection. I also have a 15% off coupon. You can use the code Kiara15 for 15% off at hellsburg.com. I'm gonna put the information right here and in the description box, as well as the name of all the pieces that I'm about to show you because I think they're so beautiful and they would also make amazing gifts. I love how they all come come in this beautiful case. I have this first piece. This is a beautiful pearl bracelet and I think the clasp is so elegant. And I also got the matching necklace. I'm gonna be a bridesmaid soon in my friend's wedding, which is so crazy. And I think that this necklace might have to come out with my outfit. This is also something that is so special. I got this beautiful chain ring. I just think it's so stunning in gold. It can be dressed up or dressed down as like an everyday ring. I'm gonna wear that tonight for sure. These earrings, I am a huge fan of of these, I guess you can call them Huggies earrings because they're not like a super big dangle. And I like them because I can still wear them to work and just feel like I'm dressed up and put together. So I got this pair and then I got this pair, which is just a simple gold hoop, which I'm also gonna wear tonight because I have my doubles. So I can put these in my top hole and then the more detailed ones in my bottom holes. You can go to hillsburg.com to view the entire collection. All the items are incredible quality. They're crafted from precious metals and sustainably sourced. I just know you guys will love these pieces. I'm gonna put on the earrings and the ring and I might even wear the bracelet because look you guys I took my Apple watch off for this oh I got it on myself <laughs> it's so beautiful I love it the ring on this hand this is my first ring like I never get to wear rings this is so fun I might need to go to the bathroom here to put my earrings on because it's always so hard to see okay I'm gonna go to the bathroom here to put the earrings on I'll show you in one sec these are the two earrings I think they're so stunning ladies and gentlemen it's 5.33, so I'm gonna go walk down the street and see if I can put our names down for reservations and just wait till you see this food. It's like really incredible. All right, let's go. Okay, and all of 
them. It is like a mind blowing experience to see like how great it is. It's so weird. We're going into green. It's so bright. Today is Monday and I actually have Monday off today. I've just been having a nice chill day with my friends. We decided to do a little charcuterie in the park and we brought a bunch of really yummy stuff. So I just got back from hanging out with them. And now I'm gonna take a nap because I went to bed so late last night and I'm trying to stay up till one tonight so that I can start flipping my schedule since I work tomorrow night. So thought I would end the video because I'm just gonna have a chill rest of my weekend. But I wanna thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you had a fun time coming along and like saw what a typical weekend in the life of a nurse is it's so nice to have four days off today's question of the day is going to be what are you most excited for for fall i need to know down below i already have been like getting some cute little stuff i'm going to show you guys i saw this in the store window and i just needed to have it it's this cute little pendant and it says spooky so i'm starting to kind of decorate for fall like i have these pumpkins over here and I think they look super cute. I always think it's fun to decorate for the seasons. Leave me a comment to reply to down below. I love you guys so very much. Be sure to check out Laura's collection with Ori at Hillsburg Diamonds. I'll leave all the info in the description box as well as my coupon code Kiara15 for 15% off. Love you. Bye.